News Now. Welcome back in. You know, News 5 has reported extensively on the dangerous and sometimes deadly consequences of fentanyl. And now, far too often, children are dying after they ingest the drug. And today, two relatives, including a mother, found guilty after a two-year-old girl died from a fentanyl overdose in Akron. News 5's Bob Jones reported on the case when it was ruled a homicide. And tonight, he is following through with today's developments in court. For neighbors like Saprina Brown, who live near this home on Oberlin Court in Akron, October 27th, 2022 is a day they'll never forget. It's a sad scenario that we had to see that happen. On that morning, a mother called 911 in a panic. Yes, and my daughter is not breathing. I had a bad dream and woke up. It was true. Not my baby. The mother brought two-year-old Valentina Lenore outside and handed her to a neighbor, a man who asked us not to show his face. She had the baby carrying her like that, you know, and she gave, her, gave the baby to me right there in that spot right there. I was just in shock. All I could say was, oh, no. Investigators believe the girl somehow ingested fentanyl inside that home and died from a fentanyl overdose. Adults have a responsibility to care for, protect children. After a lengthy investigation, police charged the girl's mother, Kaira Lenore, and the girl's grandfather, Timothy Lenore. Both were indicted and scheduled to go on trial today. Instead, Kaira pled guilty to felony involuntary manslaughter and misdemeanor endangering children, and Timothy pled guilty to felony endangering children. Someone has to be accountable, held accountable, for the loss of a child in that fashion. There are consequences and a price to pay in this the court held them responsible. The dangers of fentanyl getting into the hands of kids have been evident in Akron in recent years. Trace amounts can have uh, devastating consequences. According to the Summit County Medical Examiner, nine children, all under the age of 13, have died from deadly overdoses involving fentanyl since 2021. Seven of those cases were ruled homicides, including Valentina's death. Charges have been filed in six of the cases, with convictions in four of them so far. That baby, baby didn't have a chance. Nearly two years later, Saprina believes there is some justice for Valentina. Now she hopes a message is sent. It's a problem. And that's when people need to step up and step in. You understand? Because these kids shouldn't have to suffer. Valentina's mother and her grandfather will be back here at the Summit County Courthouse on October 7th, when each of them will learn their sentence in connection with the death of that child. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. Wow, Bob reached out to the attorneys for both defendants. They told him that they will not comment until sentencing.